Hi, I'm Lauren Froman, and welcome to the Boomer File. Boomers, you got a minute? Boomers, listen, uh, this is somewhat personal, so if you don't mind, just you know, sort of keep it between us. Right now, the dreaded Mrs. Froman and me, well, we're not doing it anymore. It happened a while ago. I, I asked the dreaded Mrs. Froman for a back scratch. Uh, no. So I begged, and I begged, and finally she gave in. Roll over. Take your shirt off. And she started giving me the usual wonderful scratch. But then after about 10 minutes, I, I noticed her hands slowing down. She started picking and poking in one specific area. And then she said something that no hypochondriac wants to ever hear. What's this? What's what? This. I, I've never seen this before. Well, since it's in the middle of my back, neither have I. Has this ever changed color? Well, I want nothing to do with this because now I see my whole life flashing in front of me and I quickly jump out of the bed and I hide somewhere. You know, I was thinking it would be great if they made back scratches illegal and legalized prostitution. You know, at my age, I'd love it if I could go to a brothel, you know, a house of ill repute and have a young, sexy woman give me an illegal back scratch. I do go to this club for male baby boomers where I get a beautiful, sexy woman to give me a nap dance. You know, for $500, a middle-aged, sexy, beautiful woman wearing a thong sits on my lap, and we both take a nap for a half hour. My back scratching days are over with the dreaded Mrs. Froman. And I'm nervous now to take off my clothes because I know she's examining my body with her eyes. She's looking. She's looking for something. Now, two weeks ago, we're in bed on a Saturday night and we're having sex. And after sex, we're lying in bed. It's about 7 o'clock. We like to have early bird sex. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, and, you know. She says to me, sort of, on the aside. I felt a lump on your left whatchamacallit. My heart rate jumps to 350. I nervously move my hand down to the area in question, and I start feeling around, looking for the end of my life. And I'm feeling, and I'm feeling, and I'm feeling, but I can't find anything. And when it becomes obvious to my neurotic self that there is no lump, I look over and I say to her, you're nuts, there's no lump. I felt a lump. So I quickly check again and again, no lump. I say to her, there's no lump. And with that, she says nonchalantly, well, I felt something. And she goes to sleep, leaving me up the rest of the night, checking and checking, double checking, triple checking, neurotically thinking the lump is hiding from me on purpose. So every 10 minutes, I check again, almost like I'm playing hide and seek with the fucking lump. Finally, I come to a conclusion, there is no lump. Sex has now become just as anxiety provoking as going to the doctor. I mean, ask yourself, after sex, we're both gonna be lying in bed with no clothes on, and she'll say, get dressed, honey, I'll see you in my office. No, thank you. But I realize from now on, there's no way in this world that I'm ever going to be naked in front of my wife again. Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye, boomers. I'll talk to you later. I hope.